Coach, can you talk about Ethan Zada? We just spoke to him for a player interview. Seems like he's got a lot of confidence right now, playing with a, you know, a little bit of a swagger and finally seeing the results offensively. We know that he puts in a lot of 200 foot games. Three goals in the last two games, you got to be pleased with that. 100%. You know, that's what you see as a kid coming into his own right now. And that's, uh, you, know, you find a way to make mistakes and then you start to figure out what you can and can't do without the puck. But the kid's a motivated kid. Uh, right now, and, and we talked about getting his first one before the break. And he's going to open the floodgates, and this is the Ethan Zada that everybody expected him to be. And uh, what you're seeing right now is a kid coming right into his own in front of him very hard. So um, he had the 200 foot game. He's first over the boards on the penalty kill, finds himself in the power play, scoring two goals tonight, a goal in the power play last night. I mean, uh, the kid's a player, and that's why he's drafted fifth overall. And you know, once he's got a little bit of experience under his belt, now he's taking advantage of it. And playing not as cautious uh, so um, the biggest thing outside of on the ice is he's a great character he's a true hockey player he's beloved in that room he's going to be a big piece for this franchise going forward and it's great to see him sort of have some individual success without three of your top centers out bryant Cotillou, Asadorian, you put three 16 year olds out there as your top three centers you know, that's not easy to do in this league, but what have you been seeing from those three 16-year-olds, Robert, Zada, that we just mentioned in Galliano, that gave you the confidence that going up against a great, well storm team, that they were going to be able to, to hold their own there? Yeah, I mean, I, when I talked to uh, the management here this afternoon, and I said, what my plan is, because we, we've had um, a lot of changes in our life, right, guys in or out, and it's tough to find consistency when you don't know uh, who's in or out for any given night for the last six weeks. And so I said, I'm going to plan to put the future of this organization on display in front of a big crowd. And, you know, I paired what should be our top two scorers in Rubrik and, and Kevin Key, and then Zada is going to end up being a great top six centerman, and we saw him uh, in all situations. Tonight, Galvan is a perfect compliment, especially on that third line, and he was phenomenal in the penalty kill tonight. So uh, we do have confidence in those kids, and uh, they're going to need time to grow. But the only way that they're going to grow is by uh, having the opportunity to play them, put them in a position to uh, to succeed and fail. Because the only way they're going to figure out what they can do is by by failing. So um, we pat them on the back when they do, and you compliment when when they do well. But uh, to come out with a win with three 16-year-old centers and a 17-year-old center, I think is uh, not and short of amazing, so it was, it was great to see that here tonight. And lastly, not a, not a good game in Owen Sound, a, a pretty good game in Erie last night, just the uh, bounces didn't go your way there, and then you come out with the win tonight. Is, the, is there some silver lining in the fact that you won the last game of the three-game week? Kevin, he's been catching fire again, eight goals, 11 games, that one last night when it was big in Erie, and then scores two goals tonight, so are you seeing some of these younger players that you talk about emerging, you know, uh, despite going through some trials and tribulations, that the positive, uh, you know, outweighs the negative there? Yeah. 100%. This is going to be our core, right? And as much as we want to win right now, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm here for the foreseeable future. So it's all about building these guys and surrounding them with support and putting them in situations to learn. And, uh, you know, when one guy goes down and one guy steps up, and that's an opportunity for our young guys to take advantage. So, you know, my thought process uh, with all of that, you know, we take the good with the bad, but I know this, you're only as good as your last game right now in 2023. We went out on a high note, so we're going to take that uh, into the new year, hopefully uh, find some money. Thanks, Coach. Happy New Year. We'll see you next week. Thank you, guys.